Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing and doing kind of a first impressions of the new Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the Pillow Talk shade. And I'm also going to have comparisons with some other cream shadows that I have in my collection. And I'm also going to be doing an almost full face of Sisley along with that. I've got the Sisley Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder that I'm going to use. I have a new to me shade of the Sisley Orchidea Blush that I love so much. I have it now in the coral shade. And I have this leaf lip twist here, as well as a Sisley mascara. So I'm gonna be using all of that along with the new Charlotte Tilbury eye product. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. So I'm gonna get started with powder because I already have my foundation and concealer on. I used the Sisley Cushion Foundation. I mixed the two shades that I have. If you wanna see me applying that, you can check out my video on the new Sonia G Fusion Series brushes. I applied the foundation um, in that video. And then for concealer, I used my Kosas concealer. Now I'm going into a loose powder, which is another Sisley product. It's the loose powder in the shade three, Rose Orient. Just gonna apply that to my T-zone and under my eyes. Actually, I've decided since I'm gonna be using powder products on my face, I'm just going to really lightly powder everywhere. Now for blush, I'm going to be using the Orchidea Coral Blush. So this is their highlighting blush. It's the shade three, which is the coral one. And the rose one, the rose version of this blush, I've had for quite a while and it's my favorite blush ever. I just love the texture of it and the way it looks on the skin is so beautiful. So I've been wanting to try this more peachy coral shade for quite a while and I finally bought it. So I'm going to put this on my cheeks and I'm gonna use the classic face from the Sonia G Kiyaki set, just swirling through all the colors. This is really the kind of peach color that I like because it's a very pink, pinky peach. It's more like a warm pink, really. And that's perfect for me. I love that. And I'm going to put more of it on later. I want to do bronzer now and then I'm going to top off probably with blush again. For bronzer, I'm using another new to me Sisley product. This is their Fito Touche Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. I'm going to use my soft cheek brush from Sonia G to apply this. And I've really been loving this bronzer. It has, you know, it's one of those baked gelée formulas, so it has a very seamless and sheer application that you can build up, which is perfect for me. And I really quite like the shade of it. It's not it's not overly warm. It is warm, but it's not too orangey. It has a little bit of a red undertone in it. The finish of it is beautiful too, because it is just, it has, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's shiny, but maybe a little bit glowy. It's not a fully matte powder. Just very natural skin-like kind of finish. I think I'm gonna forego highlighter, so I'm just gonna go right back into the blush. It is a highlighting blush after all, so it has that has that little bit of a sheen. I really feel like I want something on my lips before I get into the eyes. So I'm gonna take my Victoria Beckham 03 liner. It's more of a sort of berry pink kind of shade. Just outline my lips with that because for my sort of lipstick, I'm using the Sisley Fito Lip Twist. It's a very nude, sheer color. So I find I, I really like to wear a liner with it. These feel really lovely on the lips. Very much just like a tinted balm. Okay. 
Now I'm ready to move into the eyes. So I'm gonna be using the new Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Pillow Talk. She just came out with this shade as well as the Walk of No Shame shade in this formula. I only got the Pillow Talk one because I just thought that this would be the one I would be most likely to wear. And I'm taking my soft shader brush from Sonia G and I'm just going to put that right on the eye. I think I picked up a little bit too much on the brush so I just kind of dotted it on and then I flipped the brush over to blend it out so I'm not adding too much more product. And go to the other eye. Just going to deposit what's left over on the brush on the other eye. Blend that out and then go back here and blend with, with that brush. It blended beautifully, no issues there. That's what it looks like. I like this color because um, this is really the color I, I've been waiting for her to come out with. She's had the rose gold shade in this formula out for a few years now, and I do have that, but I find it, it doesn't have that sort of dusky pink quality that I was looking for, which this Pillow Talk shade definitely has. I'll do comparisons with the rose gold and some other cream shadows that I have in a minute. I'm just using the same brush right on the tip to do the lower lash line. Cream shadows can be so nice. I find especially in summertime when I really don't wanna put too much effort into doing a whole, you know, whole eye look. A lot of the time it's so nice to be able to just pick up a cream and throw it all over your eyes and still get a really nice dimensional look from it. I'm really enjoying how that looks. It adds a really nice shadow around the eyes and it's, you know, a little bit of a different color. It's not my usual kind of brown or, or gold that I would normally use in a cream shadow. And it's not too pink, not too warm little bit of brown going on. It's very nice color and actually kind of matches the, the lip color that I have today too. I kind of wanted to see what this little jewel pot would look like on top. I think they're called jewel pots on top of the cream shadow. And this is also in the pillow talk shade. So I'm just going to take my little brush. What is this one? It's a Sigma medium angled shading brush E70. And just pick up a little bit of this kind of sparkly, almost like a putty textured shadow. And put that on top. And, oh, that's really pretty. Putting a little bit on the inner corner too. I have to be really careful with this jewel pot because it always gives me fallout. Whether I use my finger or a brush. But actually this brush seems to be working pretty well. And that Sisley powder actually is looking super beautiful under the eyes here. It's really, really smooth, but not dry looking at all. I'm just going to try to kind of I did get a little bit of fallout there. Wipe that away. And it only seems right to use the Pillow Talk eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna do my upper waterline and a little kind of pseudo wing situation. And then I'll be back and I'll show you what mascara I'm using and we'll go through that. Okay, the eyeliner is all finished and now I'm gonna go into mascara which is again, a Sisley product, and it's the Sisley So Intense Mascara. I've used this once, I only got this a few weeks ago. It's a very unusual 
wand there's like no nothing sticking out on this side and then on this side it has these tiny tiny little teeth so it's unlike any mascara I've ever used before but since the wand is so skinny I'm gonna try first coating the top side of the lashes this is how I used to do my mascara when I was a teenager I would coat the top side and then I'd go up and apply it normally. It's actually really building quite a lot. And then I'm gonna go tiny little bit on the lower lashes focusing more right at the roots. I had a bit of a mishap here and it got onto my skin here, so I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then I'll take a Q-tip and touch that up. But I'm actually quite impressed by how much volume I got from this mascara. I mean, you look at the wand and you think, how is that going to, how is that going to work properly? But it's, it worked really quite well and it does give a little bit of more like a spiky kind of look, but it still looks quite fluttery and flattering on the eyes. All right, I'm gonna go into some comparisons. And before I do the Charlotte Tilbury eyes eye comparisons, I'm going to just quickly compare these two shades of the Sisley blush in case anyone is curious about that. It's the coral shade and that's the rose shade. These don't swatch great, but you can see the differences there. Definitely more of a peach tone and then more of a cool sort of blue based pink with the rose shade. Okay, so I've got some swatches here. So that's the Pillow Talk Eyes to Mesmerize and then that's the Pillow Talk um, Jewel Pot from Charlotte Tilbury there. This is Rose Gold from Charlotte Tilbury in the Eyes to Mesmerize formula. So that was the one that I was really the most curious to see how they would compare. The rose gold is a warmer color and you can see more of a peachiness, a little bit more orange in the undertones of the rose gold shade, whereas the Pillow Talk really is more of a sort of dusky brown pink kind of shade. This one here is the Tom Ford Golden Peach in the Little Cream and Powder Duo, which um, it, it doesn't look as similar here because it, I have just a thicker swatch built up of the Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold, but the Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold and the Tom Ford Golden Peach are actually quite similar shades. So again, compared to the Pillow Talk, the Tom Ford is more peachy, warmer, and has more sort of orange going on in its tones. Then this one here is the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in Tea Rose. It is kind of more along the lines of the Pillow Talk shade, actually. More of a sort of brownie, pinky dusky kind of color and I think that would actually look quite nice on top of the pillow talk as well. And then this last one here is the Hourglass Scattered Light in the shade Aura and in terms of the shade this one is much more of a sort of true pink than these other ones. It doesn't have as much brown as Pillow Talk and Tea Rose and it doesn't have as much peachy warmth as um, the other shades here. Again, that's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyes to Mesmerize, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Jewel Pot, Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold Eyes to Mesmerize, Tom Ford Golden Peach, the cream shadow from that, Victoria Beckham Tea Rose, and Hourglass Aura. There are obviously differences in the formulas here, like the Victoria Beckham, the Hourglass, and the Jewel Pot from Charlotte Tilbury. These are more of sort of a dry, 
um, pressed glitter type of formula. It's like a little bit creamy too, but uh, definitely drier than the true cream shadows that I have here. And then if you compare the Charlotte Tilbury formula to the cream formula in the Tom Ford duos, they're pretty similar. They perform similarly, but the Charlotte Tilbury is a bit more of a wet, creamy texture, whereas the Tom Ford I find is a little bit more of kind of a moussey, slightly drier cream texture, but they do perform quite similarly. And then just to round up my thoughts on the Sisley products that I use today, I, I like every single one of them. I've had that loose powder for quite a while, and I've mentioned this before, I'm not much of a loose powder fan. I just prefer the ease of using a pressed powder, but I am actually really loving the way that that loose powder looks. It, it doesn't look dry at all, which I find is an issue that I often have with loose powders. They'll look kind of dry and, and powdery, but that one isn't looking powdery at all. And, um, you know, it did the job of a powder, uh, while allowing, you know, still a nice bright sort of luminous finish. So I'm going to be using that one more because I really enjoyed how it performed today. And the blush I loved, I'm, I'm really happy to finally have it in that peachy shade in that formula. I, I think it's beautiful and it has the same sort of effect as the rose shade that I love so much in that it gives you a glow. It's not glittery at all, but it's, it's a glowy, you know, slightly sheeny, highlighter, blush all in one. And it just looks, it has a very special effect on the cheeks, I think. And then the bronzer, I do really like that too. I could have gone in heavier with it and I could have used probably a different brush that would have picked up more of the product and deposited it more quickly. But I just wanted to try it with that softer brush today with the soft cheek. And I think I still got a really nice kind of subtle warmth and bronzing going on. And I do quite like the tone of this as well. The little lip twist was really nice. I would be curious to try other shades of this. And I think they also have a more matte formula version of this product as well that I'd be curious to try. These came in a little set along with a mini of their makeup remover micellar water type of product and it was on sale so I put this into my cart when I was ordering the other things and I just wanted to try them out so I'm quite happy with them. It's not my favorite shade this but I think it looks really nice with the liner and it goes with the whole pillow talk vibe as well and it feels beautiful on the lips. And the mascara I was pretty surprised with Again, I was skeptical about the wand, but uh, I think I've seen my friends at Beauty Has Been using that mascara. So I had hope that I would like it too, and I do do like it quite a lot. So all in all, quite a successful little endeavor today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to see those below. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.